मेबर को बंद कर दो कोई मामू या कोई अभी लाइफ अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ट्रस्ट अबाव फाउंडेशन की ओर से मैं घनश्याम तिवारी फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट आप सभी का स्वागत करता हूँ मोई वन फॉर टूडेज हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फोर वन डे वेबिनार ऑन द पावर ऑफ स्टोरी टेलिंग वी हैव विद अस आवर गेस्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर विंकी आहूजा जर्नल एंड अस्थेटिक्स डेंटिस्ट फाउंडर एंड फेसिलिटेटर ये ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी फ्रॉम जम्मू जे एंड के मैम आई वेलकम यू ऑन बी हाव अवर वाउ फाउंडेशन इन ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स हियर दो तीन बातें हैं सबसे पहले मैं आप सभी से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा प्लीज हमारे आप सब हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल को लाइक जो वीडियो चल रहे हैं उसको सब्सक्राइब कर लें हम एक सेशन द पावर स्टोरी टेलिंग के संबंध में रखी हूँ उसको सेशन के बाद में हम क्वेश्चन आंसर लेंगे आप सभी से तब तक की रिक्वेस्ट रहेगी कि प्लीज आप सभी कोई भी क्वेश्चन है तो कमेंट्स बॉक्स में आप टाइप करेंगे उसको रीड करके हम मैम तक पहुँचाएंगे और उसका आंसर लेने का प्रयास करेंगे लास्ट में हमेशा की तरह हम एक कोड शेयर करते हैं और एक लिंक भी शेयर करते हैं आप आप सभी तक आप कृपया उस लिंक को ओपन करके फॉर्म को फिल करिएगा और वो कोड को टाइप करके सबमिट करिएगा ताकि हम आपको सर्टिफिकेट प्रोवाइड कर पाए नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट और गेस्ट भी कर प्लीज स्टार्ट सेशन वेलकम यू मैम या थैंक यू इट्स माई प्लेजर बींग एंड यू आर डूइंग एन अमेजिंग जॉब आई वुड लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट यू फर्स्ट फॉर दैट uh so today uh, good evening everybody uh, as you all know i'm dr rinki ahuja from jammu i am a dentist by profession but here uh, today i'm here to talk about the power of storytelling and uh, that what brings me here is that because i run a book club uh, the first being in state for uh, all the people in jammu and storytelling is something that is very close to my heart so i thought of bringing the power of storytelling to you and how dramatically and drastically it can change your life so let's begin uh, are you able to sh- uh, see my screen yeah okay perfect yes so this is the power of storytelling and uh, so what is actually storytelling let's get started on that what is storytelling and how does it really really help us so let me uh, let me tell you let me uh, ge- take you through this through a story uh we all know this that if you tell me a fact i'll learn if you tell me a truth i'll believe but if you tell me a story it'll be in my heart forever so that is the power of storytelling and storytelling is not a process or a method or a technique but it's a skill and it's an art and as how art needs a lot of vision it needs a lot of creativity and it needs a lot of practice in the same way when you're trying to touch somebody through a story uh, it requires a lot of uh, vision it it requires a lot of creativity and it requires a lot of practice to it so uh, and this is how uh, you know you can really touch somebody through your story stories inform us stories illuminate us and stories inspire us so what how do they inform us they inform us about an idea that we are not aware of they illuminate an idea into us that's deep down but we can't figure out and they inspire us to bring it out so unless and until there's no there's no story connected to your inspiration you won't be able to really bring it out storytelling is the single greatest skill that will make you more valuable and more successful than you've ever imagined now this is something uh, anybody would think that how something so simple like storytelling can make me successful in my life or may- take me to a greater height that i haven't ever thought of what is it in a story that can really uh, you know bring that spurge in me that i can achieve what i want to so as humans you know we are uh, we are wired in a certain way as humans we are wired to not remember data as much as we remember a story you know so if you remember whether it was the newton's law or whatever that you've learned in your life whether it was mahabharata whether it was ramayana whether it was the great freedom struggle whether it was any story any war 
it's always come to us and stayed with us in the form of a story and if you just remember the data you will not be able to reproduce the data in such a manner you will not be able to remember the data in such a manner and you'll not be inspired with just the data but a story if it's told to you in a story form you will remember it throughout your life and you know you'll be inspired to probably become that hero also who was in that story like superman like batman like like all the kids who love stories here great storytellers are made and they are not born so uh, coming back to this uh, human beings since time you know since the from the very beginning we are just so used to uh, sitting near a campfire like 40000 years ago you know as humans we human storytelling is in our dna and we used to you know sit near a campfire and used to tell stories to each other about how we are going to hunt or what are the good things that uh, what are the new techniques that we can hunt through or what are the predators that we need to be scared about so storytelling backs you know to that time and uh, people are not born storytellers though it is in our dna but we are made storytellers and how do you become a good storyteller you become a good storyteller only when you are inspired by your own story you are you believe in your own story because unless and until you don't believe in your story nobody else would so that's what the slide also says you cannot inspire until you're inspired yourself if you don't believe in yourself and your story nobody else will and that's exactly how life is unless and until you don't believe in the intensity of your story and if you've not lived your story then how do you expect to inspire somebody from your story so after nourishment shelter and companionship stories are the thing we need the most in the world so as human beings we need nourishment something to eat something that really uh, helps us grow a shelter a companionship a family and stories and why do we need stories the most in the world because stories inspire us stories are the things that takes you to your dreams stories are the uh, you know uh, they are the building blocks of communication of human relation of human behavior and uh, if you if you really uh, go back to see the, from the moment you're born there's a story that started for you the first communication is a cry and from there you know we get into our milestones and we grow and we grow into individuals and unless and until our communication skills are not great we can never have great relationships around that is a known fact so story as you know they take you they start from the time you're born probably till the time we leave this world and stories that's what they say that the world needs more of storytellers than anybody else and uh, here so here when we are trying to advocate when we are trying to advocate for something we most often think of a compelling argument made up of data right so we have a data and we say okay these are the facts that we are going to quote and this is how it is but in reality neuroscience research clearly shows that we are not hardwired to understand logic or retain facts for a very long time this is very astonishing in reality we are not hardwired to remember facts for a very long time in fact you know if if an emotion is connected to that fact you're probably going to remember that uh, that particular incident or that particular story or that particular detail 22 times stronger than just the data that's given to you so for example if there's something that you want to Uh, you know uh, uh, remember all your life if you try to remember it through a story you will be able to take it forward and reproduce it in your life in a better manner than just facts because you won't be able to remember all the facts this is how the human brain is wired so uh, yeah we hear statistics we hear statistics but we feel stories you know this is something so beautiful that we hear statistics and we get all the information but stories are something that are very close to our heart and we feel them so what are the uh, i would like to talk about the psychological benefits of storytelling you know we've i've been talking that storytelling is so important and why we should incorporate that in from the time we are born to our children and probably take it in every field later but what is the psychological benefit you know so i like i said communication is one act in which the brain of the communicator and the brain of the listener are trying to be coupled and merging as one so so when i'm here as a storyteller in front of you my brain is getting absolutely coupled with the brain of my listener and that is where my uh act of being this being a great storyteller comes into being 
so when you're trying to communicate to somebody through a story uh, you know your words when you're trying to make a regular conversation your words may just go here and there but when you're trying to narrate a story to somebody and you're really feeling that story and you're really inspired by that story that is the time that your brain and the brain of the listener is going to be coupled it's going to be mer- it's going to merge as one so you can actually uh, replicate the effect that the story is having on your brain on your listener's brain so in case you have listeners who are not feeling very happy today or they are not in the best of their state but here you're trying to narrate a good story to them and you're feeling that emotion that happy emotion you are able to replicate that same emotion on your listener and this is this is isn't that magical i mean it how wonderful is that and this is what we call as neural coupling so here two brains that are just like this you know independent of each other are still coupled through what through a medium and that is a story the second thing yeah so like i said they are on the same wavelength you know absolutely at the same wavelength they are absolutely coupled together the second most important thing when your uh the psychological benefit that storytelling gets in is empathy so what is empathy the ability to understand and share the feelings of another this is being empathetic towards somebody when you really have that ability to understand somebody's feelings share those feelings and actually feel those feelings with another one so unless and until your story is not an empathetic one it's never ever going to reach your audience it's it's just not going to have any effect on your listener if you're just going to pick up a book and say okay i'm just going to narrate a story to you without you being into it it's never going to reach to anybody so empathy is the second most important psychological benefit that you're trying to create through the power of your story in somebody's life so uh here they say that primitive emotional contagion is of critical importance in understanding human contagion emotion and behavior this is why it is very very important to be empathetic unless and until you don't understand somebody's emotion you'll never be able to uh, you know get that person delivering his best emotional well-being and behavior out there the third thing that uh, the third uh, psychological uh, aspect of storytelling is mirroring So this is very amazing too. What is mirroring? It's a building block of human interaction, assisting in mind reading and allowing people to understand and to share the feelings of others. So here, when I am trying to tell you a story, what I'm trying to do is I will have my emotions mirroring on you because we are, you know, like I said, there is neural coupling. So this is an extension of neural coupling. When you're when you're coupled in that manner, you're just absolutely so uh without any effort effortlessly you're able to mirror your image on another person so when you're trying to replicate or tell a story to somebody the listener is actually mirroring himself as a part of the story as an idea behind the story as a vision behind the story or as the hero of the story you know so this is the third psychological benefit or the third psychological aspect that storytelling gets into one and uh, to to uh, to get more light to it i would uh, i would uh, do an experiment with all of you so i want you to look at the following three pictures here the first picture if you see is of somebody who looks happy right and the second picture if you look at is of somebody who is feeling distressed or sad not too happy about life and the third picture if you see is of somebody who's angry right now right so what does it make you feel yeah let's think about it if you look at these pictures if you look at somebody who's really happy or if you look at somebody who's not too happy probably sad or you, if you look at somebody who's feeling angry how does that picture or that particular emotion make you feel now this is something to think about if you adopt certain facial expressions you're more likely to be to feel the same associated emotion and that is the backbone of storytelling so when you're trying to narrate a story to somebody that's why it's said that when you're trying to narrate a story to somebody it has to have your mo- voice modulation you need to have a lot of facial expressions you need to be a lot of fun when you're trying to narrate a story you have to be into it completely and uh, 
the the way your facial expressions are going to be are they are going to be exactly the same way on the other person you're you're more likely to feel the same emotion so if i'm looking at somebody who's telling me a sad story just by looking at that sad face i'm going to feel that emotion in me we've never thought about this but it, this is this is just so this 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 does happen and is so magical that if you're trying to uh, listen to a happy story and if you look at a happy face you know you are bound to feel a happy emotion within you at the same time if you're looking at a suspense story you know and there's a lot of suspense and a lot of grip in that story you are bound to feel that associated emotion in yourself so when you listen to stories and understand them you can experience the exact same brain patterns as the person telling the story like i told you there is neural coupling there is mirroring there is you know operating at the same uh, wavelength and you're able to even without without getting there you are able to feel the same emotion by just looking at the given emotion the given facial expression can take you feeling the same emotion so what are the different kind of uh, provoking emotions stories can get us to it can make you happy it can make you feel very excited it can make you feel sad it can make you feel surprised disgust fear all of this so in a story uh you know um, there's a there's a there's a opening and there's the middle uh, aspect of the story and the conclusion so you can take your audience from being happy to being excited to being sad to being surprised to being fearful so a person can actually have so many emotions being provoked in in throughout the story you know otherwise it's uh, it's very uh, rare that a human being can actually feel so many emotions in that particular time but storytelling does that to you so it really changes your state you know so viewing emotional facial expressions it changes your emotional state as well so here when we are uh, so imagine if somebody who's sad who's not feeling uh, all uh, pink and happy in life a simple story can actually uplift that person's emotional well-being and state so uh, that is why storytelling or listening to a story is such a powerful tool and actually enabling that person to uh, feel better to feel more satisfied to deliver his best self and to be more open to learning yeah so uh, this is one of the aspects of uh, the power of storytelling as well and um, you know uh, there's always a hero in the story there's always the backbone in the story it can be an idea it can be a motive it can be a vision so the hero of the story doesn't have to be always a fictional character you know it can be your audience your audience can be your hero you can make them feel like they are the heroes of the story because they'll be feeling and uh, going through the same uh, pattern of how the hero is feeling in that story it can be an idea that you want to give it out so it doesn't have to be always a fictional character but it can also be a motive a goal a vision whatever you're trying to put out there so you always have to once when you're uh, narrating a story you always have to remember these four p's of storytelling the first is people the second is the place where you're narrating the story the third is the plot what is the plot of the story and what is the purpose of your story so once you keep all these four things in hand you are definitely going to have a success story it will be a successful powerful story we've uh, heard nowadays so much about virtual reality so the power to imagine new worlds there's a widespread discussion today about the potential for technology to transport us to a new place yet technology too relies on stories since a good plot and a credible character events and consequences are essential for deep engagement so we are into this world where we are talking about virtual reality and you know just traveling through time and reaching another time and space altogether but here also unless and until you don't have a story linked to it you won't be able to take anybody anywhere for a long time there has to be a deeper sense to it there has to be a deeper deeper inspiration to it and unless and until your audience is not uh, you know stimulated in that manner you won't be able to take them for a long time into that kind of reality here i like to quote somebody to the human brain imagine experiences are pro process the same through imagination we tap into creativity that is the foundation of innovation self discovery and change so unless and until there is no imagination there can be no innovation and that is what story does for you that is the foundation a story is a foundation for you to imagine that 
is not real actually but your imagination makes it real and that is where the change for discovery comes that is where the foundation of innovation is laid the flight of imagination this flight of imagination the greater the level of empathy in the reader the deeper the transport transportation experience becomes like i said you have to be a very empathetic storyteller and unless and until there is not a sense of empathy in you you won't be able to transport your audience in that reality and you won't be able to let them stay for a while because they'll make a comeback very quickly because there's nothing that's making them stay there so you really have to feel your story and you have to really uh be a part of it so that your audience can uh be transported and actually feel that experience in their, their lives too so what is the uh, story i spoke about what is the psychological benefit of storytelling but here i want to talk about what does it do to your brain scientifically what really happens so when you're trying to listen to a story you activate the auditory cortex of the brain we all know that our brain has different parts and different uh, areas but when we are listening so when you when you when you're listening to a story there is a lot of things that you go through you're listening to it you're engaging into it there is an emotional engagement to it what else is there so once you're listening to it it the first thing that happens is that it activates the auditory cortex of your brain number 2 when you're engaged in that story now okay i've listened to it but now there's a difference between listening and engaging listening is okay everything is just coming your way and you're listening to it you're just like background music but engaging is when you're engaging yourself there when you're more than listening when you're when you're more than just hearing it but you're engaging your life to it so that is the time that your left temporal cortex of the brain is fired up it's completely fired up it's it's you know there's activity that started happening there then when you're getting emotionally engaged with that story like i said when you're trying to feel that story and the storyteller is actually able to bring you know uh, that emotion out of you through neural coupling through mirroring through all of that that is the time the frontal and the parietal cortices are stimulated so imagine this little brain of yours has so much inside and so many different areas can actually be stimulated by it and for example in a story you know you hear about something that's uh, very uh, pleasing uh, to eat to a powerful dis a description of food so that is the time when there's sen your sensory cortex is also stirred up so from your auditory to your frontal to your parietal there is the sensory cortex also that's stirring up descriptions of motions or action so there's a story and there's action it there's motion so we go uphill we go downhill or we are going to another uh, you know we are going to the mountains or we are going for a, a boat ride for example anything so if there's motion and action in your story it's going to stimulate your central sulcus that is going to become more responsive that is the primary motor region of your brain so just by listening to a story that is say about you know it, it sounds so simple pick up a book and read a story or i'm just going to hear a story or it's a story telling club how is it going to really really bring about this deep change in me so that psychologically we heard how does it bring an effect to you and also scientifically how does it it really affect this brain of yours what we see is just from the outside but what the underlying long lasting effect and how your brain has started developing and responding to these to these stimulus is really uh, you know such a such an amazing thing and like i said all the above brain activity can last for several days so once you hear a story so once a child goes and really listens to a story or an adult or anybody we feel that okay we heard the story and it's day over it was a nice story i learned something out of it i got a moral value out of it and probably i'm inspired about it and probably i'm going home and i'm thinking about it day 1 day 2 day 3 but uh the real fact is that all the above brain activity can last for several days not just one day but several days explaining why good stories tend to stay with us so remember if we if we all go back to our childhood if we've heard a story that's that's really touched our heart it's with us even now it never left so this is the capacity of the brain to really retain and retain and uh, to our surprise that little story that we heard as a child actually brings us to do certain great actions in our daily life now so from there till here how this brain has been able to retain everything research shows like i said that we can recall facts up to 20 times more effectively 
when they are a part of a story rather than just isolated data so once we just read isolated data you know there's data there's data coming in data going out you wouldn't be able to remember it unless and until there is a story there is an emotional engagement of yours as a human being to it unless and until you're not emotionally engaged with an idea with even with data you're not going to remember it so this is how powerful storytelling is now let's come to hormones we spoke about our psychology we spoke about our brain and now let's come to hormones so this body has a, a chemistry of hormones and uh, what are the, i'm going to highlight few of the hormones that actually go through uh, you know a lot of spurge when we are listening to a story so number one is cortisol we all know about it it is called as the high tension action hormone it is the stress hormone cortisol that is released in your blood stream which leads to greater immersion and responsiveness to the arc of the story so this is a cortisol is basically a stress hormone it's a high tension hormone and when you're listening to a story that is really gripping you what happens is that it cortisol is uh, released in your blood stream and you have a greater immersion experience in that particular story and you're more responsive so we need to have uh, you know you never say that uh, anything is bad for you everything in in moderation is good for you so likewise even to have this hormone coming out and to respond to be responding to a particular situation is very important because that is what makes us really human it's an integral part of being human and toto so the second hormone that uh, actually comes into play is uh, everybody's favorite and it is actually called oxytocin it is the, it is called the empathy hormone it's 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 uh, it's uh, related to a mother who's breastfeeding her child for the first time and this is the hormone that is released so it is uh, it's uh, you know um, the character driven stories will affect the release of oxytocin into the blood a so called empathy hormone that helps people bond so when you listen to a story that is very pleasing to you or something which is you know getting uh, that uh, empathetic part of you out this is the hormone that is released in your body it is called as oxytocin then we come to dopamine dopamine is everybody's favorite party guest and when the dopamine is released our brain's learning systems are activated and often times arousal or pleasure is experienced i'm sure you're familiar with the uh, term uh, you know uh, dopamine and uh, what happens with dopamine is that it increases your focus it increases your memory and increases your motivation so this is uh, you know the happy hormone that is released coming to now endorphins so when we exercise we uh, produce endorphins the feel good factor endorphins make you feel love they make you feel happy telling funny stories including an unexpected moment like you know a surprising moment or a happy moment that triggers endorphins in your audience so once you are listening to a story that is gripping you completely these are the hormones that are released in your body and these hormones bring in different effects in your body so imagine you're feeling low and you're feeling like completely discouraged or you're feeling not motivated listen to a good story you know have dopamine in your body get some endorphins get some oxytocin and you're good to go and suddenly you will feel happy so this is what story does putting it all together uh, uh, dr uri harrison has studied the impact of story for relationship and impact by simply telling a story a person can plant ideas thoughts and emotions into the listener's brain a story is the only one way to activate the parts in the brain so that a listener turns the story into their own idea and experience so just by telling a story that is close to your heart a story that 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 you feel from the heart a story or somebody's story that you have been inspired by you can plant ideas thoughts and emotions into the listener's brain. and unless and until there are not thoughts and ideas and emotions in the listener's brain there can be no ambition in life and this is one of the greatest ways when i started the presentation i said it's going to make you more successful than ever before so a story can actually activate that part of your brain from where you are inspired and you're inspired to do great things so a listener turns the story into their own idea and experience you know they say that the storyteller tells the story but every listener has his own interpretation of that story
you know so you can turn that into your own idea it cannot be a complete replication of what the listener wants out of you but you can turn it into your own idea and experience it in your own way at princeton university uri hasan does research on storytelling by attaching electrodes to people he finds that when somebody tells a story certain parts of the brain are activated make storytelling the heart of learning now let's come to learning how does storytelling um, you know really um, help us learn better so no matter when whatever whenever we are learning even if the presenter is animated the language processing parts in our brain known as the broca's area and the wernick's area they get to work translating those bullet points into story form where we can find our own meaning so if we are trying to learn something and for example i am i am going through this powerpoint presentation i am sure at some point of time we all have gone through them and suffered through them so unless and until your heart is not connected to that you will lose interest very quickly and it's a it's a known fact that you know the language processing parts in our brain they are called as the broca's area and the wernick's area so what what our brain does at that point of time is that when we are when we are running through a presentation or when we are running to remember something some classifications or anything we just try to it's just designed in such a way that it's going to create it itself into a story form where it's where it finds its own meaning so like i said the data will not be remembered but if you put it into a story you're going to remember it for the rest of your life role of storytelling in education stories and narratives play an important role in education stories can be instruments of information and transformation taking the audience from the familiar to the unfamiliar so yeah we are very familiar with the familiar but getting familiar with the unfamiliar is the challenge and story can be a great instrument in doing that so even if in a education system if we are taught in a way through stories we are going to remember it for the rest of our life why do children get uh, you know they their learning gets a little slow because it's just data 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 and more data but if if we really put all that data in a story form get the biggest concepts that are so hard to deliver in the form of a story children are never going to forget it so one when one identifies with the character who has changed now this is very amazing one can envision and embrace the possibility of change in oneself so this is what story does to us when we see a character who has made a change in his life or has envisioned a greater goal a greater goal we are just motivated to embrace the possibility of change in our own life stories make information rememberable we can remember like i said we can remember information better because they involve us in the actions and intentions of the characters and demand active meaning making stories enable us to engage with new knowledge broader perspectives and expanded possibilities otherwise we are in a closed box and that is where we want to live so unless and until we don't listen to great ideas great stories we will never have a better understanding we will never have a broader perspective we will never have expanded possibilities in our life because if there's yeah howard psychologist now this is very interesting lawrence kolberg who proposed a stage of moral thinking i like to bring this this is this is really nice this is called as the heinz dilemma and what happened here actually was i'm going to tell you this in a story form there was a woman who was near death uh, who was nearing death she was on the death bed and she had a very special kind of cancer there was just one drug that might save her so at that point of time there was only one drug that could save her and only one pharmacist had that drug and he was charging 10 times the normal price yeah so what happens next is the sick woman's husband Heinz his name was Heinz it's you know uh, it's named after him could arrange just half the amount he could just arrange half the amount he said my wife is going to die and this is all that i can give you and he pleaded and argued with the pharmacist that his wife was dying and so the pharmacist could please lower the price or if he could pay it later but the pharmacist refused so he really pleaded the pharmacist and he said that you know she's going to die this is all i have or if i can pay later and the pharmacist refused Heinz got desperate, and that evening he stole the drug. Finally, he got very desperate because he wanted to save his wife, and he stole the drug. So this is something that really comes into, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to cognitive uh, behavior. This is something that we read about. Should Heinz have stolen the drug, or should he be punished for stealing the drug? 
you know so this story is very effective for further discussions on thinking or moral reasoning you know there it can be uh, whether he should have stolen it or whether he should not have so this is something that is used when we are really trying to figure out the moral reasoning of individuals or a particular person in in a perspective in his book on social intelligence author daniel goleman explains the impact of emotions on learning and performance this is what something that is really important that how our emotions affect our learning not our intelligence but our emotions right till you know we've always believed that the more intelligent we are the better learning we have but actually how emotionally stable we are or how emotionally intelligent we are or how emotionally well we are that is what uh brings about a better learning so boredom anxiety and stress they are negative emotions and they consume our attention and restrict our ability to take in new information and learning so when uh, when we uh, coming to children so if they keep reading the same data again and again and again a, sen a sense of boredom sets in and that is where their attention decreases and they restrict their you know we restrict their ability to pick up more information and learning but if we make it interesting if we if we emotionally engage them into some kind of anything that we want them to pick up then they will be attached to it and it will be a lifelong learning and in adults when the anxieties of life and stresses set in that is the time that our learning and information just takes a downhill and that is the time we need better hormones in our body and that is how how do we do that we do it through the power of storytelling wherein as positive and inspired moments of learning as a result of complete attention enthusiasm interest and positive emotional intensity so uh when we have positive and inspired uh, emotions in us that is the time our learning gets better and that is the time we are more attentive we are more enthusiastic we are more interested and it has a positive emotional uh, effect on our total well being teachers and parents can incorporate the art of storytelling to make learning more effective and long lasting so storytelling can be uh, initiated from a very early age and the teachers or our parents or all of us you know we we need to uh, take effective we we have to be effectively uh, involved in it so that whatever things that we are trying to teach our children they are long lasting so let's hear some success stories Uh, Carmen Gallo is a master of storyteller, as we all know, and a two-time Wall Street Journal best-selling author of uh, TED Talks, and uh, also at the presentation Secrets of Steve Jobs. His techniques and ideas have transformed transformed leaders of admired brands such as Pfizer, LinkedIn, Intel, and his inspired world's most well business leaders. So, what how stories can actually inspire big leaders is just here example in front of us storytelling can be used to drive change says richard branson we are all aware he is one of the greatest uh, business legends and ted speakers and featured in the storyteller secrets also if we listen to starbucks we all know howard charles often tells the story of growing up in a brooklyn housing so even he had a story in his life in a brooklyn housing project and watching as his family struggled after his father was injured on the job so that story from his childhood remained with him throughout his life and his life story how did he what did he do in return he was inspired to offer health insurances to all his employees so the stories of childhood never leave us whether they are good bad pleasant unpleasant they will not leave us so might as well have pleasant stories on in our life if you overcome adversity in your life your career your business it's important to share that story because we are hard wired as humans to be inspired unless and until we are not inspired to do something it's not going to happen it's never going to happen and that is why if we don't tell our stories how do we inspire ourselves and people around us so by stories we just we just love them it's not that we just love stories but we need them so that we can find meaning in our struggles our struggles of life need to find meaning and it's just not that okay i love a story but actually i need a story to be inspired in my life and inspire people around me
stories of success over adversity ignite our inner fire because struggle is a part of our human nature unless and until we are we are not into that struggle we feel less human and we've always if we go back and see if we've struggled through a situation and we've come out of it we feel more human we feel more empowered so unless and until there are not stories of success over adversity there's not story of triumph over tension so, you know we will not be able to inspire ourselves and the world around us uh, to conclude i would like to quote my mentor dr dai sakui keda here because of whom i could you know create a story in my life and i continue to create stories for everybody around me he says i quote it's my earnest wish that my works not only serve to create in children the awareness that their lives are infinitely precious but that the stories also act as a springboard to enable them to cultivate wings of courage and hope with which they can soar into the skies of their mission i am quote so the heart you know that they say that the heart is very important and that is why the power of storytelling is such a great power because it is the heart that is communicating it's the it's a heart to heart communication it's a life to life communication the heart is very important the treasures of the heart are the riches that we build within our lives this indicates the kind of inner strength that cannot be defeated by any tribulation it refers to the power of life out to live our life uh, to live our life out to, to the it refers to the power to live out our lives in a creative way with constant joy fulfillment and vitality may the power of stories remain with you and you take them wherever you go and like they say the story continues the story should always just continue so that is what is the power of storytelling and uh, if any questions then please we are here i don't see anybody thank you so much ma'am thank you my participants yeah. uh, sabhi se request karunga ki kripya aapka koi क्वेश्चंस है तो कमेंट्स बॉक्स में टाइप करें हम उसका आंसर लेने का प्रयास करेंगे आ, संतोष पा, पात्रा जी का एक क्वेश्चन है मैम व्हाट इज द गोल्डन आवर फॉर एन आई टू बी डोनेटेड फ्रॉम आई थिंक ये सबसे से रिलेटेड नहीं है एक क्वेश्चन ही नहीं संतोष पात्रा जी का था एक्चुअली में एडलोशन किड्स के लिए स्टोरी टेलिंग किस प्रकार से उनके लिए बेनिफिशियल होता है जी आप फिर से थोड़ा रिपीट करेंगे आई कुड नॉट हियर दैट सो वेल या एडलोसेंट किड्स के लिए चाइल्ड्स के लिए स्टोरी टेलिंग किस प्रकार से सहायक होती है उनकी हर नॉट जस्ट एडोलेसेंट्स बट एक्चुअली हर एक के लिए स्टोरी टेलिंग फ्रॉम द टाइम यू आर बोर्न फ्रॉम द टाइम यू आर बोर्न टिल प्रोबेबली यू लीव स्टोरी टेलिंग इज इफेक्टिव फॉर एवरीबॉडी सो इट्स जस्ट नॉट फॉर एन एडोलेसेंट किड but from the time that's why they say that tabhi bola jata hai ki it is so important to start reading to your children and start even if you feel that the child is not absorbing anything nothing is going out there but it is that life is registering all of that so uh, from the time the child is born so for an adolescent he can go to he can read stories to himself you he can go and attend some workshops where they're story telling learn the art of story telling so that he can also or she can also narrate some stories to people around them I hope I could answer that. Okay. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Surendran Surendran ji's question is: Will story of the ones uh, adversity have any effect on the generation the following death, or will it lead to getting? I think मुझे radicals sorry think please again question type करेंगे सुरेंद्र जी मैं आप आपका question नहीं देख पा रहा हूँ हेमंत कुमार शुक्ला जी का तब तक के मैं question बताना चाहूँगा मैम can you tell me tell about small practice to improve art of storytelling uh, a small practice read more stories and narrate more stories to yourself first 
have imagine an audience in front of you or probably stand in front of a mirror and uh, this is how you can uh, you know improve your art improve your skill because it's practice and aap wahi story ko agar ek bar dusri bar teesri bar aur fourth fifth time khud hi narrate karenge you will see a great uh, deal of improvement in your uh, way of telling the story and also the meaning and the more you narrate the story the more you feel the story so it is very important for you to feel the story unless and until it doesn't come from your heart it's not going to do what you're looking for so that is the art of storytelling a lot of practice to it okay thank you ma'am ek prashn ghanasham ji ka hai na ji is film story motivating sorry uh is full film story more motivating every story is motivating every story is motivating in its own way but it really depends upon what content you are trying to pick up from the story and what is it that your brain is looking for to pick up so to be really be able to pick up the right content you need to be in tune with yourself so every story is a motivating story every word is a motivating word thank you ma'am uh, nilesh wagmare ji ka ek prashn hai how can we tell uh, compelling story in the tourism and hospitality nowadays is pandemic okay <laughs> that's a good one uh see is time pe to sabse pehle aapki story agar sachi nahi hogi to kisi tak kisi ke किसी के पास भी पहुंचेगी नहीं तो पैंडेमिक पे के टाइम पे हॉस्पिटैलिटी पे आप ये स्टोरी कर सकते हैं कि आप उनसे सेफ्टी की बात करिए उनकी सेफ्टी की बात करिए और अपनी स्टोरी की कि अगर आप उनका ट्रैवल इंश्योर कर रहे हैं तो वो किस तरीके से कर रहे हैं यू हैव टू डिलीवर इट इन अ स्टोरी फॉर्म टू योर यू नो डिजायर्ड कस्टमर्स हु एवर यूर लुकिंग एट बट द फोर मोस्ट शुड बी देयर वेल बींग सो इन पैंडेमिक if you are trying to sell a story saying that come travel uh, i don't think you will be able to make it but if you are trying to uh, sell a story telling them that come travel but we will make sure that you are safe you eat well and all the other things are taken care of then probably you will get there so your story has to be hamesha yaad rakhiyega a story has to be a true story unless and until it's not a true story it's not going to help you sachai zaruri hai zindagi mein sabse upar wo hai थैंक यू मैम जी राजा जी का प्रश्न है मैम प्लीज मैडम सजेस्ट मोटिवेटिंग स्टोरी टेलिंग थियोरी फिर से बोलिएगा प्लीज आई एम सॉरी आवाज नहीं आई सजेस्ट मोटिवेटिंग स्टोरी टेलिंग थियोरीज मोटिवेटिंग थियोरीज हाँ आप बहुत डिफरेंट तरीके से स्टोरी सुना सकते हैं यू कैन हैव विजुअल्स यू कैन हैव पपेट्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द ऑडियंस आपके पास कौन सी एज ग्रुप को आप टारगेट कर रहे हैं यू कैन डू रोल प्लेइंग यू कैन गेट ड्रामेटिक्स यू कैन गेट थिएटर इन टू इट यू कैन प्ले द कैरेक्टर योर सेल्फ यू कैन हैव पीपल प्लेइंग द कैरेक्टर एंड यू आर जस्ट टेलिंग द स्टोरी सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ इम्प्रोवाइजेशन दैट यू कैन डू इन अ स्टोरी अ स्टोरी डजेंट हैव टू बी कि आपने एक पेपर उठाया और आपने पढ़ना शुरू कर दिया एक स्टोरी वो है जो दिल से आती है तो उस तरीके से आपको स्टोरी किसी को भी अगर आप नरेट करना चाहते हैं वैसे करिए और आप उसके अंदर बहुत चीजें यूज कर सकते हैं अपना एक्सपीरियंस अपनी स्टोरी प्रॉप्स विजुअल्स सब कुछ बिकॉज ह्यूमन बींग्स आर ऑल्सो वेरी विजुअल इफ दे आर इफ योर ऑडिटरी कॉटिक्स इज गेटिंग एक्टिवेटेड सो इज योर विजुअल सो ह्यूमन बींग्स आर वेरी विजुअल ट्राई टू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ विजुअल ऑल्सो इन योर स्टोरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्राई टू गेट मोर कैरेक्टर्स ट्राई टू गेट लाइक आई सेट थियट्रिक्स ड्रामेटिक्स ऑल ऑफ दैट अपनी आवाज वो भी your voice has to do the magic in story uh salini singh ji ka prashna hai how you start storytelling for corporate uh corporate uh, i am not doing for now <laughs> but once i get there then i think i'll be able to answer that better but yes yeah, some aspects of corporate as to their well being their emotional well being their psychological well being that is something that i take into consideration but when when it comes to a specific product specificity that uh, not for now a story always has to be a true uh, story thank you ma'am uh, santosh patra ji ka ye prashna hai uh, related to uh, do 
during covid 19 pandemic adolescent children addicted to online games like pubg how it can be be uh, addicted so <laughs> storytelling ये अगर अपने अपने बच्चों की बात कर रहे हैं तो उसके लिए तो सबसे पहले आई वांट टू से दैट चिल्ड्रन रेप्लिकेट व्हाट पेरेंट्स डू लाइक आई सेड इट्स कंप्लीट मिररिंग बट अगर तो अगर हम कोई भी चेंज अपने आगे पीछे लाना चाहते हैं सबसे पहले वो चेंज हमें अपने अंदर लाना पड़ेगा हम किसी को ये नहीं बोल सकेंगे सीधा कि आप ये मत करिए जब तक हम एक खुद एग्जाम्पल नहीं बनेंगे उनके सामने तो अगर हम किसी चीज को बच्चा शायद एक गेम पकड़ लेगा मोबाइल पे लेकिन अगर हमने किसी चीज को उसी तरीके से पकड़ा है तो वी आर नॉट सेटिंग द राइट एग्जाम्पल सो टू हैव एन इफेक्टिव इफेक्ट ऑन योर चाइल्ड यू नीड टू फर्स्ट गिव अप ऑन समथिंग दैट इज वेरी दैट इज दैट इज दैट इज दैट यू फील दैट यू आर एडिक्टेड टू सो दिस इज हाउ यू ब्रिंग अ स्टोरी इन बिटवीन यू गिव अप समथिंग एंड योर चाइल्ड लर्न फ्रॉम दैट दैट इज वॉट इंस्पायर हिम क्योंकि आप किसी को जोर जबरदस्ती से कभी भी कुछ नहीं रोक सकेंगे फोन बंद कर देंगे उस पर लॉक लगा देंगे सब कुछ कर देंगे दैट्स नॉट गोना हेल्प वॉट रियली गोनो हेल्प इज योर बिहेवियर दैट इज आउटसाइड सो एज अ पेरेंट इफ योर बिहेवियर यू हैव टू सी हाउ डू आई चेक ऑन माई बिहेवियर दैट आई सेट एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर माई चाइल्ड एंड आई थिंक इट शुड बी इजी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है और वो तो हमारी फेवरेट स्टोरीज हैं तो उनको तो जरूर हमें खुद भी पढ़ना चाहिए और अपने आगे भी सबको अपनी फ्यूचर जनरेशन को वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट दे आर वेरी दैट इज आर रूट सो ये बहुत जरूरी है एंड आई थिंक दे आर वन ऑफ आर फेवरेट स्टोरीज सो वी टेक दम अप एंड वी रियली इंजॉय लिसनिंग टू दो स्टोरीज एंड रेटिंग दम and feeling them because there's so much to learn from them thank you yeah uh, hemant kumar sukla ji ka prashna hai ke wala awaaz ke madhyam se kahani sunate samay kya dhyan rakhna chahiye <laughs> voice modulation agar aapko koi dekh nahi pa raha agar aap kisi bhi tarike se facial expressions se nahi kar pa rahe par is awaaz mein bahut taakat hai so when if somebody is just hearing you your voice should be such that it should be able to bring that emotion in in your particular audience so there's a lot of work on your voice modulation and the more we practice the better we are it nobody is born perfect we are all getting there we are all in the making koshish thank you thank you so much oh you must welcome thank you participant agar koi aur questions hai to please comments box mein type kare प्रश्न है मैम बच्चों को शिक्षा के साथ साथ जो है स्टोरी टेलिंग बहुत सहायक होती है तो इसको और किस प्रकार से बच्चों को स्टोरी टेलिंग के माध्यम से हम एजुकेट लोगों को बच्चों को कर सकते हैं जी एक्चुअली शिक्षा को स्टोरी टेलिंग की तरह ही बच्चों तक इट शुड बी द अदर वे अराउंड हमें लगता है कि शिक्षा एक अलग चीज है और स्टोरी टेलिंग एक अलग चीज है पर अगर हम इसको मर्ज करेंगे अगर हम उनके सारे करिकुलम्स को Uh, एक तरीके से उनको स्टोरी के तरीके से समझाया जाएगा दैट इज वॉट आई ट्राई टू डू इन माई स्टेट बिकॉज हमारे स्कूल के करिकुलम ऐसे रहते हैं जहां पर दैट इज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट आई थिंक रियली नीड्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कि अगर हमारी टीचर्स बहुत अच्छे से ट्रेंड हो कि वो बच्चों को हर चीज स्टोरी टेलिंग के तरीके से एक स्टोरी की एक कहानी बना के अगर सुनाएंगी तो वो बच्चा कभी भी जिंदगी में वो लेसन नहीं भूलेगा वो कभी भी वो uh, चाहे हम अपनी हिस्ट्री पढ़ रहे हैं ज्योग्राफी पढ़ रहे हैं हम वोल्केनोस पढ़ रहे हैं हम आसमान एटमोसफेयर पढ़ रहे हैं कुछ भी पढ़ रहे हैं अगर हम अगर हम उसको एक स्टोरी की तरह बच्चे को समझाया जाए समझाया जाएगा तो वो बच्चा कभी भी नहीं भूलेगा सो दीज आर नॉट टू सेपरेट थिंग्स मैम दीज दिस इज अ दिस इज वेर वी मर्ज सो एज अ पेरेंट यू कैन जस्ट वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू टीच योर चाइल्ड ट्राई टू डू इट इन अ स्टोरी फॉर्म और प्रोबेबली अगर वो स्कूल में होता है तो बहुत अच्छा है अगर नहीं होता है तो देर आर एवेन्यूज वे यू डू इट दैट इज वॉट वी ट्राई टू डू इट इन आर स्टेट एंड वी आर ऑनलाइन ऑल्सो सो वर्चुअल लर्निंग थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम नाग पद्मा में उनका एक प्रश्न है जी हाउ टू गो अबाउट 
you know educators to uh, really be uh, really uh, you know be uh, feel this concept because as long as hamare hamare pure uh, uh, growth ka backbone hai hamara education system hamare educators we have deep, deep respect for them more than anybody तो अगर वो हर चीज को अगर वो ये समझ सकेंगे कि एक एक स्टोरी से हमारे ब्रेन पे हमारी साइकोलॉजी पे हमारी लाइफ की मोटिवेशन पे हमारे लाइफ की चॉइसेस पे कितना इफेक्ट होता है तो आई थिंक दैट इवन इफ एक हिस्ट्री की बुक हमें दी जाए और बोला जाए कि आपने आज ये अपने स्कूल uh, के बच्चों को ये डिलीवर करना है अगर आप उसको पहले खुद एक कहानी की तरह अपने बच्चे को सुनाएंगे तो वो कभी भी नहीं भूलेंगे सो वेदर इट्स अ स्कूल वेदर इट्स योर चाइल्ड इज फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड एडोलसेंट कॉलेज एनी और इवन इन कॉर्पोरेट लाइक वी आस्ट वाई वाई ब्रांड एवरीथिंग बिकॉज एवरीथिंग इज कनेक्टेड टू अ स्टोरी लेस एन अंटिल देर इज नो स्टोरी देर यू विल नेवर हैव ह्यूमन कनेक्शन हम ह्यूमन कनेक्शन ही थ्रू स्टोरी से है हर किसी का रोल है किसी की स्टोरी में आपकी स्टोरी इम्पैक्टफुल तो तभी होगी जब आप उसको फील करेंगे सबसे पहले इफ इट हैज रियली लेफ्ट एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन यू बिकॉज यू आर द यू नो आपसे वो ट्रांसमिट होके जा रही है आप मीडियम है So, so, जब तक अनलेस एन अंटिल अगर आप बोले कि वो ऑब्जेक्ट है और ये स्टोरी है हमें सिर्फ वहां इम्पैक्ट क्रिएट करना है वो नहीं होगा इट हैज टू फ्लो थ्रू यू सो यू हैव टू बी इम्पैक्टेड बाय दैट स्टोरी फर्स्ट यू हैव टू बी इमर्स इन दैट स्टोरी फर्स्ट यू दैट स्टोरी हैज टू टच यू सो दैट इफ दर समथिंग दैट रियली टच इज यू यू मस्ट वो अगर आपके दिल से किसी और uh, अगर आप उसको प्रेजेंट करेंगे तो ऐसा हो ही नहीं सकता कि वो इन्फ्लुएंस ना करे या उसका इम्पैक्ट ना हो कितने साल पहले से फ्रॉम सिंस देर इज देर इज रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ देर इज स्टोरी टू इट अगर आप अपने हम अपने स्क्रिप्चर उठाएंगे हम अपना साइंस उठाएंगे हम कुछ भी डॉक्यूमेंटेड प्रूफ उठाएंगे उसमें स्टोरी आएगी आएगी so that is the philosophy that is it is the backbone of human life story if you believe in it they say that power only comes if you believe in it so yes you will only be able to experience the power of storytelling if you believe in it mere wala aapne bahut sare tips diye kahani sunane ke stories ki but ek baat mujhe se related hai कहानी सुनाते समय हमें क्या नहीं करना चाहिए कहानी सुनाते समय हमें क्या नहीं करना चाहिए दिस इज आई थिंक ये मेरा सबसे क्वेश्चन है आज का क्योंकि सब कह रहे हैं क्या करना चाहिए क्या करना चाहिए क्या नहीं करना चाहिए कहानी सुनाते समय हमें कहानी से दूर नहीं जाना चाहिए हमें कहानी के अंदर रहना चाहिए अगर आप कहानी से कहानी सुनाते सुनाते कहानी से दूर हो गए कहानी से हट गए कहानी से टूट गए तो कहानी वही खत्म हो गई तो अगर आप उसको किसी भी तरीके से थ्रू एनी मीडियम आप उसको लेके जा रहे हैं वेदर इट्स विजुअल वेदर इट्स ऑडियो वेदर यू हैव प्ले यू हैव अ ड्रामेटिक यू हैव थिएटर एनीथिंग आपका वहां होना बहुत जरूरी है योर प्रेजेंस इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन तो अगर आपकी कड़ी टूटी कहानी टूट गई पार्टिसिपेंट्स uh, अगर कोई को और क्वेश्चंस है तो मैं आपसे भी से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा दो मिनट हमारे पास समय बची हुई है एक आपके लिए एडवाइस था मैम जी प्लीज कोई हमारे ऑडियंस में से आपको एडवाइस करें साइकोलॉजी से रिलेटेड भी आपको कोई वेबिनार करें uh, ऐसा आपको जी जरूर आप व्हाई नॉट आई वुड लव टू डू इट इनफैक्ट प्रश्न है What is a good technique uh, 
दो तीन ऐसे क्या टेक्निक होनी चाहिए रेस्टोरेंट कर रही जिसको ओके सो शी वॉन्ट्स वन और टू थ्री टेक्निक्स फॉर गुड यही यही क्वेश्चन है इफ आई अंडरस्टूड इट राइट पहली सबसे पहली बात uh, ऐसी कौन सी स्टोरी है जो आपके दिल को छुई है वॉट समथिंग दैट्स टच योर हार्ट फर्स्ट एंड फोर मोस्ट क्योंकि जब तक लाइक आई सेड अनलेस एंड अनटिल देर इज नॉट एम्पथी इन योर स्टोरी योर स्टोरी विल बी जस्ट डेटा सेकेंड आई लाइक आई सेड Uh, कि हम सब बॉन्ड स्टोरी टेलर्स नहीं है पर प्रैक्टिस से हम बनते हैं और कुछ लोग बॉन्ड भी हैं यू जस्ट बॉन्ड विद इट दैट यू नो यू आर एबल टू डिलीवर इट द राइट वे एक ही स्टोरी एक इंसान कैसे सुनाएगा और दूसरा इंसान कैसा सुनाएगा सो यू रियली नीड टू वर्क ऑन योर सेल्फ यू रियली नीड टू प्रैक्टिस दिस आर्ट एंड दिस स्किल एंड द थर्ड थिंग इज प्रोबली वर्क ऑन ऑल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ यू इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू डिलीवर अ स्टोरी टू समबडी from your voice to your facial expressions to you feeling the story aap bilkul kehte hain you have to be in that role you have to be in the role kirdar mein nahi to wo sirf data hai i hope i was able to yeah ek do question aur hai mam agar aapke permission ho to hum uska question ji bolte hain zarur बिल्कुल दो डिफरेंट चीजें हैं कंप्लीटली पोल्स अपार्ट स्टोरी टेलिंग इज इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट जहां पे आप यू नो काफी सारी चीजें लाइक आई सेड हाउ एज हाउ योर साइकोलॉजी कैन बी इम्प्रूव हाउ योर ब्रेन फंक्शन हाउ हारमोन आर रिलीज इन योर बॉडी हाउ यू कैन लर्न बेटर हाउ यू कैन बी मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल इन योर लाइफ क्योंकि अनलेस एंड अनटिल आप एक जब कहानी के साथ नहीं जुड़े रहेंगे अपनी जिंदगी में तो आप अपनी जिंदगी में कहानियां आगे यू कैन नॉट मेक ग्रेट स्टोरीज इन योर लाइफ काउंसलिंग इज अ वेरी डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑल टूगेदर दैट इज इट्स अ वन ऑन वन थेरेपी इट्स इट्स अ डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट साइकोलॉजिकल काउंसलिंग एक कंप्लीट डिफरेंट एंगल है किसको जरूरत है बच्चों को वेदर इट्स यू नो वेदर दे वॉन्ट पिकअप अ करियर और दे आर गोइंग थ्रू समथिंग सो दैट इज अ वेरी वन ऑन वन थिंग वेरी इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक जबकि आप स्टोरी भी एक इंसान को सुना सकते हैं बट यू हैव एन ऑडियंस दे आर जस्ट टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स थैंक यू मैम एक बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन है और टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन है मुझे लगता है ये सब वन ऑफ द बेस्ट क्वेश्चन होगा विथ ट्रेजिक एंडिंग स्टोरीज है सॉरी विच काइंड ऑफ स्टोरीज ट्रेजिक एंडिंग स्टोरी tragic ending stories uh depends upon the if uh, the intensity of the tragedy but uh, because our children are also human and our children have to develop into individuals and stronger individuals so uh, agar aap boliye ki aap ek bacche ko story sunayenge jahan pe sab kuch sirf sab kuch bahut rosy hai to wo to real life hi nahi hai so loss sometimes is also a gain and it is important it is important for your children to deal with losses in life and still move on because life is not like a bed of roses hum kisi ke liye bhi nahi thi life is a it's a struggle and it's a beautiful struggle because you struggle and you you know you win over your things to agar aap ye bolenge ke bilkul ha but aapko uh, you have to definitely decide the content that us tragedy ki intensity kya hai aap kya deliver karna chahte hain aapka audience kis cheez ke liye ready hai that is your subjective wisdom thank you thank you so much ma'am ab ye session hum yahi samapt kar ji shukriya story telling ki subject jo hai isme maine bhi bahut enjoy kiya aur log hamare audience ko bhi bahut pasand aaya aapko bahut bahut sabhi participants lagbhag thank you bol rahe hain to thank you so much ma'am bahut bahut shukriya aur se aur hamare sare participants ki aur se bhi main aapka dhanyawad karunga thank you to se hame आपसे और भी समय लेके डिफरेंट टॉपिक पे और आपका समय लेकर हम ऑडियंस तक के हम कुछ और इन्फॉर्मेशन देने का प्रयास करेंगे इट बी माय प्लेजर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग मी थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर काइंड सपोर्ट थैंक यू पार्टिसिपेंट मैं आप सभी से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि प्लीज आप सभी फीडबैक फॉर्म फिल कर लें फीडबैक फॉर्म के लिंक जो है हमारी वीडियो जो चल रही है उसके डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में ऑलरेडी शेयर्ड है हम प्रयास कर रहे हैं कि कमेंट बॉक्स में हम शेयर शेयर कर पाए
आज की कोड है टू जीरो प्लीज मेक श्योर कि आप सभी से रिक्वेस्ट रहेगा कि आप फिल्ड में फॉर्म फिल कर लें आज की अटेंडेंस कोड है टू जीरो हमने चैट बॉक्स में कमेंट्स बॉक्स में ऑलरेडी लिंक शेयर कर चुके हैं तो प्लीज आप सभी से रिक्वेस्ट होगा लिंक को क्लिक करके आप फॉर्म को ओपन करें और ओपन करके सारी डिटेल फिल करके ये अटेंडेंस कोड भी आप टाइप करके फॉर्म को सबमिट कर लें तब तक करके मैं बताना चाहूंगा कल भी एक इंपॉर्टेंट वेबिनार है हमारी सेम टाइम पे साइंटिफिक मोटिवेशनल सेशन मिस्टर अभिषेक श्रीवास्तव जी हमारे साथ कनेक्ट होंगे मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर है और ऑथर है पटना बिहार से तो आप सभी से मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा अनुरोध करूंगा कि आप कल की वेबिनार के लिए भी रजिस्ट्रेशन कर ले ताकि कल भी सेम टाइम में आप हमसे आप कनेक्ट हो सके और हम आपको हमारे गेस्ट के माध्यम से आप लोग को कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन दे पाए संतोष पाठक एक कोड स्टूडियो थैंक यू सो मच पद्मा मैम सुरेंद्र सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच जो है साइंटिफिक मोटिवेशनल सेशन टॉपिक पे होगा एलिमेंट को इंडियन कॉन्स्टेंट इन एपिक बुक ऑफ मैनेजमेंट डॉक्टर मानवेंद्र सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर शारदा यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रेटर नोएडा वेल जैसा कि आप सभी को पता है स्वामी विवेकानंद की जन्म दिवस रहे बारह जनवरी तो उस दिन पे हम जो है द थर्ड रिलीजन नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन दिल्ली के एक सीईओ हमारे साथ कनेक्ट होंगे डॉक्टर अतुल भट्टागर सर थर्टीन को एक इंटरनेशनल वेबन है स्टेम एजुकेशन एन इम्पोर्टेंट टूल एंड क्रिएटिविटी एंड इनोवेशन रानिया लांको मैम हमारे साथ ग्रीस से कनेक्ट होंगी और गैंगटोक से मिगू थॉमस मैम हमारे साथ कनेक्ट होंगी तो प्लीज आप इस वेबिनार के लिए भी रजिस्ट्रेशन कर लें फोर्टीन को आर्ट थेरेपी विथ मंडला मंडला एक आर्ट होती है जिसपे किस प्रकार से हम इसको एक थेरेपी के रूप में उपयोग करते हैं और इस्तेमाल करते हैं इस पे एक वेबिनार है मिस वर्षा किनी सर्टिफाइड आर्ट थेरेपी एंड लाइफ को ओनर ऑफ मंडला ट्रीज बाय वर्षा किनी फ्रॉम मुंबई हमारे साथ कनेक्ट होंगी तो प्लीज इस पे भी आप रजिस्ट्रेशन कर सकते हैं हमारी वेबसाइट में सोशल साइट में सारी जगह डिटेल्स आपको ऑलरेडी शेयर हो चुकी है कुछ जगह शेयर करनी बाकी है वो हम जल्द से जल्द शेयर करेंगे फिफ्टीन को ब्यूटी केयर इन डेली लाइफ सुनीता तायडे ब्यूटी थेरेपिस्ट फ्रॉम मुंबई हमारे साथ कनेक्ट होंगे सिक्सटीन को साइबर क्राइम सेक्स टॉर्सर साइबर बुलिंग सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट मनीरा राजमी जहां बांग्लादेश से हमारे ढाका से कनेक्ट होंगी को न्यू इमेजिंग एजुकेशन इन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी डॉक्टर सावली मुखर्जी डायरेक्टर स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड डी स्टूडेंट अफेयर आदम्स यूनिवर्सिटी कोलकाता तो अठारह तक की ये वेबिनार है उसके बाद हम और आगे वेबिनार शेड्यूल कर रहे हैं आप सभी को टाइम टू टाइम हम इसकी इंफॉर्मेशन देते रहेंगे आप हमारी वेबसाइट पे सोशल साइट पे इवन यूट्यूब के लिंक जो 
लाइव वीडियो जो होनी है सेम डे में उस पर भी आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में सारी रजिस्ट्रेशन लिंक आप तक के दिख जाएगी तो उस पर भी आप रजिस्ट्रेशन कर सकते थैंक यू सो मच सभी को आपको धन्यवाद हम कल फिर इसी टाइम मिलेंगे तब तक के लिए आपको सबको धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच